Um, so we're going to do student checkup Excel 3-3. And so in order to do that, I'm going to go ahead and uh, open up uh, Excel uh, student checkup Excel 3-2. And we'll start with that document. Okay, so here I am. So I opened up a student checkup Excel 3-2 and saved it as student checkup Excel 3-3 right there. Okay, I'm going to go to my restaurant revenue right, uh, sheet right here. I'm going to select that sheet and where I'm at, and then I'm going to delete row four by selecting the row, uh, left clicking, and then right clicking. Uh, right, right clicking on the row, and then left clicking on delete. So I'm going to go here to. Cell A18 and type in standard deviation of totals. And uh, it gets the right formatting, so I don't have to format it. If yours doesn't format automatically, then, then go ahead and uh, use the format painter and, and format it. I'm going to go ahead and uh, auto size my column A. I'm going to use the standard deviation for a sample. And so I'm going to go ahead and click up here on my function, insert function, and I'm going to type in uh, standard, hit enter, and there it is on the list there. I can click OK. So the uh, I'm going to be getting the standard deviation of the totals for all my days. So it's going to be B12 through H12. And then I'm going to click. Uh, OK or hit enter. And there's my format there. So I want to make sure that my format is formatted to not have any zeros. And I want to make sure that it is bold. I'm going to go ahead and click on B14. And then click my format painter and then change that format over to B18. To check on A20, I'm going to go ahead and do uh, type in average of values here. Went ahead and formatted correctly for me. And then I'm going to use the average function. It's already on my list right there. If not, I'd have to search for it. I'm going to uh, do the average of B5 through H11, which is this chunk of data right there. Go ahead and hit enter. I'm going to go ahead and use my format painter to take B18 format down to B20. On A21, I'm going to go ahead and type in number of combinations. And then I'm going to enter the combine function here. It's on my list. I can also type that into the search function as well, combine. And the number I have uh, right here, it's going to be it's going to be seven. There's a total of seven option. Number chosen is going to be two. Go ahead and hit enter. And then I just need to make sure that that is 12 point font there and that it's bold. So that's my number of combinations. I'm going to go ahead and click on the cell range B5 through H11. And then I'm going to go through a series of uh, conditional formatting options here. So I'm going to go ahead and do that and click through all of those formatting options here. So the first thing is I need to go to my formatting, conditional formatting, which is on the home tab under conditional formatting here in styles group. So the first one that I'm going to do is I'm going to icon sets and I'm going to go ahead and choose that first uh, option there. So that brings all the conditional formatting there and tells me uh, the formatting there 
and then I'm going to uh, clear the rules by going to my conditional formatting and then down at the bottom here it's clear rules and I'm going to clear rules for selected cells because my cells are still selected so I'm going to go ahead and clear the rules there then I'm going to switch over and use the uh, conditional formatting button and go top bottom rules I'm going to go down to above average and I'm going to flip this uh, little box here to be a fill with dark uh, green okay. click OK so that's what that looks like there I'm going to go ahead and clear the rules again from the my selected cells and with this one I'm going to go to highlight cell rules right here highlight cell rules and I'm going to go greater than and on this one I'm going to use the yellow fill click OK so that's what that one looks like and I'm going to go ahead and go and clear rules again with selected cells and uh, the next one I'm going to do is I'm going to go and use the data bars under conditional formatting and use the light blue that's what I'm going to use on this one next I'm going to clear the rules one more time and my last format is going to be uh, the color scales and I'm going to use this one right here red white and green color scale so that's the last conditional formatting on that one now I'm going to add a new worksheet by going down to the bottom here with the plus sign with a circle around it and clicking on that that is my new worksheet I just added in here I'm going to go ahead and drag it over by left clicking on it and dragging it to the to the right side I'm going to name it goal seek so I'm going to double click on sheet one and type in the name of the sheet here goal seek hit enter I go up to A2 here and I'm going to put the function for today in there which is equal today uh, open and close brackets there and hit enter I'm going to make sure that that is centered and bold I need to scooch my A over there a little bit and I need to make sure that that is also 12 point font I'm going to go back to restaurant revenue here and I'm going to copy A5 through A11 so all of these uh, product types here the product names I'm going to go ahead and on my keyboard I'm going to go ahead and hit control C that's one way to copy okay then the, the little moving banner shows up and I can go back here to goal seek and put my cursor in A5 and do control V and then go ahead and re auto, si auto size the width of column A by double clicking uh, in between A and B up on top column A and B uh, B4 and, and C4 I'm going to enter in some uh, titles here it's going to be cost and retail so I'm going to enter those I'm also going to uh, enter in margin here as well I know that's coming up there so I'm going to click A5 here and get my format painter click format painter there and then I'm going to use the format painter to format uh, that in for A4 through D4 there on these cells down below cost retail and margin right there from B5 down to D11 I want to uh, apply all borders on those and I want to make sure that they are uh, left justified aligned left aligned there and I'm going to go ahead and type in in the cost and retail I'm going to type in the numbers that are in the uh, in the book that are given to us in the book so I'm going to do that really quick alright so there are all my numbers 
And now what I want to do is I want to go ahead and put the equations for uh, the margins in there, right? So we have cost and retail. The retail is the retail price. So I'm going to go ahead and find uh, the difference between those and, and make that a percentage, right? Divide it by the, by the original cost and tell me what the margin is. So that equation is going to be... I'm going, to, I'm going to open up with my brackets here, I'm going to, and I'm going to go the retail minus the cost and close that. So that's my margin uh, divided by the cost, uh, by, divided by the retail in this case. And then I'm going to make that a percent. And I'm going to go ahead and uh, autofill, drag that down for the rest of the cells there. Over in F4, I'm going to create a new section here. And I'm going to, in F4, I'm going to go ahead and title this new retail price to make 75% margin. Go ahead and resize uh, column F to fit all that into it. And then I'm going to go ahead and center that, make sure that is centered. And then I'm going to go over to F5, right down below it here. So now on the data tab, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go up to my data tab and I'm going to select what if analysis. And I'm going to go, I'm going to select goal seek. Okay, so my, my set cell is going to be D5. So if I want to make this, and it puts the, um, the absolute dollar signs in there. So if I want D5 to be 75, and this is I'm typing in, 75%. If I want it to be 75%, uh, I need to change which cell, right? So I'm going to have to change the retail price up to give myself a 75% margin. So that's the retail right there, C5. And then I'm going to click OK. And then uh, OK again. And this right here, this is the cell. I'm going to go ahead and make this. I'm going to go ahead and make this yellow so you can make sure to see this. This cell right here is uh, that result, right? So if I were to actually change this back here, uh, I'm going to go ahead and make cost and retail. I'm going to make this all uh, dollars and change the decimal point back uh, to just pennies. So there we go. So we're good. Okay. So. I, I would need to make the barbecue ribs $13.99 to get a 75% margin. Okay, so our $13.99 is the uh, new retail price that I have to create to make a uh, 75% margin. So I'm going to go ahead and type that in right there, $13.99. And uh, I need to make sure that I'm going to go ahead and put a dollar sign on the front of that. So that is my answer there. Now what I need to do is uh, the very last thing that it has me do in this, I need to bold that. So the last thing I need to do is I need to play with my tabs. So uh, what I found out here at the end is I, I don't have all the uh, graphs and different things, right, that were in the book. So, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, pull over some sheets from a previous uh, Excel uh, worksheet that I had been working with. So I'm going to go and go ahead and open up 2-3, which will have those extra worksheets in it. I started this uh, chapter's uh, ch checkup assignments with uh, my chapter um, one end, right, uh, checkup assignment. So I, I uh, should have started with chapter two, but I didn't. If you started with chapter two, you'll have the worksheets here. I didn't, so I'm going to go ahead and pull them in now. 
So, I'm, so I have both worksheets open now at the same time. So if you followed me and you did what I did, you're gonna have to do this last step to get this last little bit correct. Um, so sorry about that. But anyways, so I have both worksheets open. So I've got 2-3 and 3-3 open. Okay, so the idea is I'm gonna take the items I'm missing out of 3-3, I'm gonna move them from 2-3 over to 3-3. So the things I'm missing are going to be, I'm missing the uh, Saturday, Sunday revenues right here. So in order to move this over, I can go ahead and right click uh, on the Saturday, Sunday revenues tab, worksheet tab and click uh, select, left click on move or copy. So I need to tell it where I want it to move it or copy it. So that's going to be over in 3-3. So by the, with this little drop down here, I'm going to select 3-3 and then I'm going to go ahead and create a copy. That way I can the, the copy remains in my 2-3 and the other copy goes over, right? So that's the way I'm going to do it. So I'm going to go ahead and click OK. And we see here if I click back on 3-3, that sure enough, that just showed up, right? Saturday, Sunday revenues just showed up there. So I'm going to go ahead and do that a couple more times here. So I need my total revenue pie chart. I'm gonna go ahead and do move or copy, create a copy. I'm gonna move it to 3-3, okay. And the last one I need to move is called uh, Saturday, Sunday, total revenues pie chart. So my, my total revenues pie chart I need to move over. So I'm gonna go ahead and move or copy that over to 3-3, create copy and click okay. That should be over there. There it is. Oh, I moved it over there twice. Delete that. Don't need two of them over there. So I've got Saturday, Sunday revenues and total revenue pie chart. The next one I need to do is um, combo chart. So that's the last one I need to move over. Move or copy. Go to 3-3 and create a copy. OK. Okay, so now I have all of these in my 3-3. So I'm back on 3-3. My 2-3, uh, I can go ahead and close. So I can X out of that and close. I'm gonna say, don't save. Okay, so now I have 3-3 with all my things in there. I'm gonna move my restaurant revenue all the way to the left. The next one is gonna be Saturday, Sunday. So this I'm doing this by clicking the tab for the worksheet and just dragging it over to the right spot and then releasing the left click button, right? The left mouse button. I've got a total revenue chart, pie chart is next. Then my combo chart, my daily income, I'm gonna go ahead and scooch this over. See how my, my arrow changes here, my cursor changes. I can go ahead and left click on that and just drag it over to the right here. I've got an extra sheet in there. I need to go ahead and right click on that and delete that out. So here I have everything in order, net income, payment, goal seek. Okay, so starting with restaurant revenue, it's red, that's right. Saturday, Sunday revenues, I need to right click on this tab and I need to go to tab color and I need to change it to orange. Orange right there, okay. Total revenue pie chart needs to be green. Combo chart needs to be yellow payment pie chart or payment tab needs to be blue and goal seek needs to be light green so there we go so now it looks like it is in the book there got everything moved in um, if you have any questions concerns feel free to email me or uh, send me a uh, call me up and I can help you out. So go ahead and save this like it is here and then uh, submit it up to Canvas and have a good day. Thanks, bye.